Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever asked yourself, is one really bigger than zero? Well, neither have I. But we're gonna prove it, cause damn it, this is a vlog and we're gonna make content and it was in a book I was reading. Let's get tropical. But first, let's get some laundry done. We're not And it was said, give me one, give me zero, and I will construct for you the reels. And so it was. Add in some 12 axioms and away we go. We actually have the rationals. We gotta do some fudging around to get to the reels. But for this one, we're just proving one is greater than zero, so it's not gonna be that weird. This is the set theoretic definition of the real numbers, which is basically, again, just from a philosophical standpoint, arbitrary. Uh, we just took sets to be a pretty intuitive concept to build mathematics on and said, let's let sets be the thing. And so we build numbers and such out of the base concept of sets and operations between properties of the elements of those sets. Those elements can be arbitrarily named, so we don't really care what their names are. We just care about how the elements in a certain set behave. If this is new to you, don't worry too much. This took me like a good two years to really get and I'm still working through it right now. But sets, elements of those sets, operation between those sets, Bob is your uncle. And today we are working with a set called the numbers. That's pretty much all it is. This is the first chapter of Spivak, which I'm retackling. And he proved that one is bigger than zero. I know you've all been curious as to why that was. And today we're going to show you from bedrock that that is the case. So cut to the motel room. All right, so you can find the proof that one is greater than zero in a book and it's words and nonsense. What you can't find is visualization methods to understand what and why exactly we're accessing this particular thing in the idea realm. And when I mean thing, I'm looking at a thing in, the, in my mental sphere. It's not particularly visual, but it's very, it's quite, quite visual, but it has some other stuff going on. It's like a thought form. How, do, how does one describe a thought form? It's very difficult, but I'm gonna do my best to try here. Imagine your head a bag, a mathematical bag, or just an abstract bag. Just close your eyes maybe and just imagine a bag and it has some gray elements in it. It's like a bag or like a collection of things over here and it has some, some stuff there, all right? And there's some stuff there and this stuff has, the, each, each of these things is distinct. It's different. So this element is different than this element is different than this, this element, but just get past that. It's just an image and it's, it's in the idea realm and it's like this big jumble of all these grayed out things. And our job is to use our methods of describing stuff, our language, to describe this set. And what this set thing, thought form, is the numbers that you've known and loved your whole life. And how does one do that? Before we label stuff, before we have the decimal labeling system, before binary labeling system of the numbers, just a set of things and we try to label them. This took me forever. I had to honestly just build some scaffolding to get up to the point where I could just see this thought form there. But now that it's there, I understand what we're trying to do and I'm, I'm trying to build an easier way up the mountain because it took me forever to get to this point. But what we're really doing here is using set theory to describe numbers. Real numbers, rational numbers, complex numbers even, just integers, etc, etc. And it's a thought form. Just really, it helps even to just like lay in your bed and just think about it. Just think about the numbers before labels. Before labels. That's what we're doing. Before labels, before we label the numbers, before your intuitive ideas of the numbers, how do we describe them in a very, very literal fashion? So we describe how these gray things move together. We have addition. You take a gray thing, you take a gray thing, you put it together. What comes out? You take a gray thing, you take a gray thing, you multiply it together. What comes out? You'll be doing a few videos on this in the future because I kind of like it now. I like I like the set theoretic definition of the numbers. It's pretty cool. And I kind of want to learn more about it now, which I would not have said a year ago. And I'm gonna try my best to share my enthusiasm for it. Now this video was supposed to be about about proving that one is greater than zero. I'm gonna save that for a future episode of this because uh, that's long enough. It's long enough for this little, this little doodah. So next video, we're gonna be going over the axioms for addition. Just addition, We've got four of them. It's pretty smooth sailing. And when I say axioms, I'm saying any property you would like about addition, well, most properties you like about addition, I can give you in four things. So if you just have addition, no multiplication and whatnot, just addition, I can give you four axioms and that describes addition to a T. Anything you want, you got it. Well, sort of. We'll get into it. Don't worry, don't worry too much. But it, it, it's quite an interesting study. Let me tell you that. But that's gonna be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like the new lighting setup? I got the softbox on Amazon. Pretty good stuff. Whole new lighting, actually. No more grainy videos from the Alberta border, let me tell you. Anywho, that's gonna be it. So take it easy. 
easy. I love you, God. Speed. I'll see you in the next one. We're going to be doing some stuff about real numbers or rational numbers or etc. etc. I'm reading the book Spivak Calculus. Dive in if you'd like to. Not a good introduction to beginners for the number set theoretic stuff, but it's good stuff if you've seen it a few times. It's probably better intros out there. But that's the one I'm following right now if you'd like to follow along. In the motel room, coal mine grind. Just stay tuned for more. These are going to just just wait for it. Anyway, take it easy. I love you, God. Speed. I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. Or the next day, the next day, the next day. We're doing semi daily vlogs. When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing else. He changed the world for the good thing he's found. If she is bad, he can see it. This sock fell on the ground. I don't know what the policy is to do here.